Okay, so let's get on with part two for the tutorial for my Witcher medallion. Sorry for the delayed video. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, I made this paper. Uh, I believe we left off, so I am right where we left off. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting, but there's actually something I forgot to show you before we continue with the shaping, but I'll show you right now. So what you still need to do is um, sink in these parts here. So there, it's pretty simple to do, uh, but we need to do them. Uh, so we'll start off with the first thing, which is, so if you open here, we can see these two tips here, right? So they are not used, so you can just fold them down, just reverse fold them down. They're not going to be used. Also on this side, just like that. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this edge along this line here, okay? Just like that, so a basic sink fold, okay? And you open and now you sink, okay? So we're just gonna go here, you're just gonna make a mountain fold here. Okay, and you can just close this like that. Okay, do the same thing on this side, and then you have to do the same thing on this one, except this one is a bit diff, it's not different, but just because this part here is not the same. But basically, so you just fold this like that, and you crease, unfold, and then here. If you open here and if you see on this side, you can see that this part is already uh, has already been sunk once, right? So what you're going to do, so you can do this side here is the same. Okay, so first off, we need to push this down, and this side here is the same. Okay, like that. But then once you get here, all you have to do is close sink this part. So basically, you have this tip here. And you can see there's a line there that needs to crease. You're just going to push this down. Like that. And then make this mountain. And yeah, that's it. Now you can just close back up. Okay, now do the same thing with these two flaps and we're good to go. Uh, after the, f the first video, which I will link below so you can see. Also, I'm using a new camera. Um, hopefully the quality is a bit better. It's a lot better, I believe. Uh, and I will also uh, work uh, with a new microphone. It's not on right now, but hopefully in the next videos it will be. But yeah, let's um, get on with it. So in this video, I'm just gonna cover shaping and hopefully uh, we'll get a decent one, okay? So yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do, so we can see here that we have, uh, so we're gonna work on the, the mouth first, so we have these three flaps, these tips here, okay? So this, this one is going to, this one is going to be the lower jaw, the tongue, and this is gonna be the upper jaw, okay? So I already made some, Creases here, but that doesn't matter. So the first one thing you're gonna do is this. Let me just zoom a little bit more. Okay. So this one, you're just gonna fold this down all the way. Okay. And just gonna crease, pull this down, and then this one. So this one you also. So not this one. This one you can just fold down, but don't crease it. And this one you're just gonna fold down all the way as well, like that. Okay, so remember, this is the upper jaw, this is the lower jaw, so this is the tongue. And what I do here is try to fold it midway. Uh, so this we have this length here, just fold it midway. Something like that. Doesn't have to be that precise. This is just shaping, so something like this, okay? And then you can just crease. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is also get the horns or the, I don't know, 
what to call them, but they get them into position. So as you can see, we have six on each side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. This one here, okay? And we're just gonna spread them out like a fan here, okay? So I'm just gonna do one side and then we can do the same on the other side. So if you look at the reference picture, you can see like the ones on the bottom side are a bit bigger than the ones on the top side, but but as you can see here, they are all the same length, um, which means that we're gonna have to like spread the paper a bit on the bottom ones uh, to get to the desired uh, length. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, and I will be, I'm not sure how to do, I can't remember exactly how I did mine, so I'll be kind of uh, testing grounds here, but um, yeah, let's see. So I'll do, I'll kind of do this, um, uh, a bit, like I said, testing, and then we'll see if it works out. Okay, so I'm trying to open this one in the middle. And as you can see here on the back, I'm trying to pull them a bit first. So for example, for instance, like that. But maybe that works. Let's see if I like this position. I think so. So after we're gonna hide this part a little bit. So don't worry if this one is not that visible. And this one we're also gonna fold in the middle. So I'm gonna open here. And if I can, okay, I'm just gonna fold this. I actually don't have the reference, I believe, here for mid, but that's okay. So we're just gonna fold like that, I guess. And then we'll keep on doing that. So again, open here in the middle. This is not the middle, this one. And we're just, so I'm just squashing them, basically. And I'm just squashing this part here as well. Oops, okay, there we go. I'm not pressing down too hard just yet because I want to make sure that all of them are in a good position and then we can press. Okay, so we have three so far. If you it, if it want, we can actually just do this part here which is just like fold this part a little bit um, inward so we can see the spikes better. Okay, again, I'm just testing here. Afterward, we'll see if everything works out. Okay, so let me just keep on doing this. So once again, I'm just open here on the middle. And make sure these ones are correct. So this one's here. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So this is what we have so far. Uh, I think it looks good. We'll definitely have to make some adjustments later, but I think for now it looks good. Oh, sorry, this came out of place. This is like that. And then we also have this small one. We'll do that one later. Uh, but I think for now it looks okay. So. Let's do that on the other side as well. I'll just do a bit faster. Oh yeah, by the way, this is how it looks on the back. In case you're wondering, maybe it will help um, if you also look on the back. Let me just fix this small part here. Eh, doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, so yeah, let, let's do this thing here as well. I'll just do faster.
Okay, so yeah, these are the, I made some small adjustments. Maybe they are more visible on the back. So I pointed the most, uh, the lowest ones a bit down, as you can see. Um, they are more spread out. So I got the reference here, and yeah, they are a bit down here. Um, but once again, yeah, as you can see, this part is all thinned out, and this part here we haven't thinned out yet. But we'll do that now, so we can. Uh, make sure that the spikes are in the correct position before we do anything else um, But yeah, so as you can see here uh, So the model should be folded in flat, so it should be folded in half like that Okay, and what I did was You can almost see here. So actually actually it's folded the other way around but doesn't really matter. So it's folded like this and then this part is kind of reversed fold so it doesn't really matter so but but let's do that so basically what i want to do is so we have like that uh, almost like that but what i want to do is just fold this in half so basically i want to fold all of these flaps like all these layers here to the center actually let and you might have this tip here, I'll just hide it, doesn't really matter now, just hide it so we don't see it, also this one, I just reverse fold it, okay, so we're just gonna fold all of these layers, don't fold the, the, the horn, we're just gonna fold them inside, and you have to fold like a lot of them, or yeah, a lot of layers, like so, and yeah, this part should be down, which will help. So don't worry if it's not flat foldable just yet. Just fold this down like that. Let me see, where do I fold it? Okay, we can just fold it, I don't know, here maybe. Just like that. And the other side as well. Fold every layer. Okay. Sorry if if I'm going all over the place, but like I said, shaping is basically this. Like when I'm shaping origami, I'm doing this. I'm just trying stuff out, see what works. Sometimes I have to go back. Sometimes I just spend a lot of time trying to figure out what to do with something. Uh, I mean, it's just the way it is that's why i don't like doing shaping tutorials because there's no like sequence to follow unless you have like it's uh, memorized or diagrammed there's not really a sequence uh, to follow it's up to personal uh, taste uh, okay so one thing we are going to do now is try to lock this place here this thing here with the lower jaw as well so also before that so you can see here, like if we close this, we can actually draw a line here, like, and we're just gonna reverse fold this part, just like we have here. Okay, so we're just gonna reverse fold here, and now we'll, and then we'll be able to close it. So basically, I'm just gonna make a line here, doesn't matter where, here, and make sure you also grab the, uh, the this layer here, like so. Okay, and you just reverse fold like that. Okay, I know it looks weird, but then once we get the jaw like that, and the tongue and the mouth, it will look better, trust me. And yeah. We'll be having to use a lot of glue in this. <laughs> so yeah, get ready for that. Okay, so now we're just gonna do the teeth and the jaw here on this tip. And what we're going to do is fold this tip down and you're gonna fold a small part, not too much. Maybe this, this much. Uh, I would say like this is the full length um, maybe like a sixth of the full length. I'm, I'm doing it like by eye, I'm not really sure, but yeah, in comparison, this is what it should like, 
should look like. Okay, like this and crease really tight. Okay, and you're going to unfold and you're going to spread sink this little tip here. So basically what you need to do is you're going to pull apart these flaps, all of them. And I'm not sure if you can see, my paper is a bit hard to see, but you should see, you should be able to see your crease and you need to mount and fold uh, the crease that you just did. So my crease is, no, this is a bit hard because I did a crease previously but I can see it's... And also you can use a toothpick to go inside and push out the paper if you can't do it with your fingers. And let me see if I can grab just one side. If I can grab one side, then the rest should be easier. Uh, okay, I think, yeah. So this is one side. And now you just keep on doing mountain folds like this the, the, you should, the, the crease should already be visible you should not be making any new crease okay I think that's more or less good. So yeah, you should have eight sides in total. Okay. And now what we're going to do is basically, so make sure you can flatten this part out and you're just gonna fold it inside, okay? Doesn't really matter how these layers end up. They, they, this should be flat foldable, okay? And um, it should be, I mean, it, it's something if you did, for instance, the Divine Dragon by Satoshi Kami, this is something that it does on his origami, so yeah. You just fold this and just press down. And this, sh this should be flat foldable, just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so the top part is going to be used for making two teeth, or two, or two teeth, like here and then the bottom part. So if I unfold here, you can kind of see how it goes. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is, um, so we're going to narrow, as you can see, the jaw is very narrow because there's layers here, right? So this is what we're going to do as well. So I'm just gonna fold here like that. And you can fold here, okay? until this part, for instance. And this will work together with the crease that you just did here, this one. So you can kind of fold this like so. Oops, sorry. You can kind of fold it like that. Let me zoom out. Okay. Okay, do the same thing here. I know this looks like a mess now, but once you've had glue, everything will be much easier to work with. Uh, I'm just gonna show you this part here, and then we're gonna add glue. Uh, I'm gonna add glue off camera, I think. I'll show you where I add it, obviously. But, um, that way it will be easier to work. Okay, but basically this is what we have so far. Okay, this is how the paper, the, the origami is gonna be more or less, okay? Uh, we're gonna do some stuff here to make it more uh, more <laughs> uh, sturdy but yeah let's let's just work on the teeth here so basically you're gonna fold so if you see here and this part is covering up my light if you see here we're just gonna fold these two sides in 
Okay, these two parts inside. Make sure that the part on the bottom is not visible. Like this. And this part here. Let me just hold it here, maybe you can see better. This part here, you're just gonna fold up, making like a small jaw, like this. And then this part here, you're also gonna fold up, but you're gonna make uh, like two points here. One here and another one here, just like what we have here. You're gonna make like this sort of shape. Okay, let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna do it and then I'll show you. Okay, it should be something like this. We'll fix it later, but this is how it should look like, basically. Which is what we have here. Wait, let me just fold this up. Yeah. And we can just make it a bit pointy. Pointier. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna... This is how it looks right now. So what I'm gonna do now, off camera, because it's, it will be boring for you, is just add glue in all of these layers here. We're, we're not gonna be moving in them anymore. So we can glue, glue all of this together, probably until here, okay? Don't glue too much because we'll still have to work here. But yeah, probably here. I'm just gonna glue everything and maybe that will be easier, okay? Okay, so I've glued the layers, as you can see, and now we can get a better look on how it will turn out in the end. So we just close this part here, like that, and then this tongue is going to be like so, and then we're going to have to like fold this part a little bit inside, but yeah, so let's work now on the tongue. And it's very, very simple. Um, the only thing, so we can see here what I have here. So the only thing we're gonna have to do, so this is where we made the crease, right? So the only thing that we're gonna have to do is just narrow it. So basically, I'm just gonna fold this part here and I'm gonna take advantage of what we need to do here. So we're just gonna fold his, these parts in, inside like so. And these layers here that lead to the tongue, we can fold a bit more like that. And then we just fold like this. We can fold the tip inside because, well, the tongue is not pointy. So we can fold the tip inside just a little bit. Like this. And then we can also just narrow this a bit like so. And then we can just make this fold here, okay? So let me do the same thing here. Actually, I think it's a bit, yeah, it's, it's way too far up, so I made it way too far. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit like that, because then it would be too far from the, the lower jaw. Okay, so this this part this part here won't be visible as you can see. Like it's not the the part is not visible only if you open the jaw. So we don't really need to worry if this part is not very accurate. press down here and 
so yeah so the jaw will cover the tank like so now this part we can kind of fix so we need to fold this like so like this and also here on this side we need to fold all of this like that so this will help us when we close it will help us to give like a more um, natural not natural but it will be thinner like this part here will be closer together yeah you can see it's starting to take shape and let me just see something yeah so we'll have to fix um, later some positioning but yeah this is the base so yeah we can also I'm not gonna glue just yet, but we can also glue this part here, all of these layers, but I'm gonna deal with the upper jaw first and then I'll glue it all. Uh, so yeah, so the upper jaw, um, yeah, so basically the upper jaw is the same thing as the lower jaw. Um, you have to fold the tip, a small tip, uh, so as you can see here, like this is the same thing that we have here, okay? Except this thing looks better be just because we're not seeing because if we were seeing like that it would be the same but yeah uh, you just have to do the exact same thing that we did with the um, lower jaw which is you fold a small tip down let's say like this and you press down okay and then unfold and you're just gonna spread sink this part okay so we're just gonna open all of these flaps okay okay so you can see here hopefully you can see the crease and now you just have to mount and fold on it this one was a lot easier than the one I did on the lower jaw. But okay, just like that. And then this time you're just gonna fold inside, not up, but down, okay? Like that, and press. Okay, so now this one is slightly different, the, the upper jaw, just because it's not as narrow as the lower jaw is. Uh, we'll deal with the eyes afterwards, but um, um, so the thing we have to do here is the same thing. So basically you're just gonna fold, let me show you, you can sh see inside, it's just a little bit folded, narrowed, okay? So we can just fold this thing inside, these flaps, and as you're folding this, you see that it starts to pull on these layers, so you can do a small, so you can fold them just a tiny bit, like so. Okay, and then this part you're just gonna fold here, so let me do the same thing on the other side actually. Fold this inside and fold these ones at the same time okay and now the teeth are gonna be the exact same thing so we're just gonna make we just check here yeah you basically just fold this part up and you make Deeds out of it. It's hard to explain what I'm doing because, like I said, most of the times I'm improvising.
you know, something like this. It's not the best I've done. Yeah, and then you just fold this part down to cover, to cover a bit of the teeth. It's way too much. Yeah, I think that it should be closer to the jaw. Okay, something like this. I'll have to fix it later with um, glue, probably. But yeah, it should be something like this. If you look from the side, this is what you get. You can see the teeth, you can see the jaw. Okay, so... Um, yeah, let's... I'm just gonna glue everything here together. Uh, and as you can see, like this part here is way too big, like we have to narrow it a bit more. Uh, I tried to narrow it here, but it, it could be better. But yeah, this part is gonna be... Uh, to, uh, it, we need to push these points together. But yeah, I'll just glue all of this and I'll let you know uh, once I've done that. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. It's almost finished. All we have to do now is get um, this top part fixed and then like give an overall shaping to the origami and also shaping the horns here which you'll need still need to be shaped a bit but yeah let's do this part here first um, okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up these two parts here and you're just gonna fold this down so basically you're just gonna unfold this Okay, and now you're going to fold this point down along this line here. So basically you're going to bring this point here. I've already did this crease just because I was testing, uh, because I wanted to do this with the sequence <laughs> instead of improvising. Uh, but yeah, so this is over. And if you notice, like now my paper is black, just that because uh, my paper has two colors, as you can see. Um, so, which means that a small part of this boy, this this origami is going to be two colored, but it's like here. The only part that's different color is like this part right here. Uh, but yeah, that doesn't really influence anything, and it looks good. <laughs> so yeah, so now you're just gonna, so you have the creases here, right? And you're just going to fold this edge to the center on the crease that you already had. And while you do that, you're also going to fold this one. And you're just gonna crease, you're just gonna fold like that. So these are pre existing creases, okay? So these two, this one, and this one, you're just gonna fold like so. Okay, and do the same thing on this one. So fold this, that, and then just close it. Okay, awesome. this and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this down along so we have a line here which is inside haven't it but you can see here the tip of it so you're just gonna fold along that one that line and basically you're just gonna open here okay so three to one side this one to this and you're just gonna make this reverse fold like this Okay, then crease. And now what you're going to do is we want to show this color a little bit more. So we're just going to make a crease like that. So basically you're just going to grab this layer here and you're going to make a small crease like this. But we don't want that crease to go all the way here. So as you're closing this, as you do the reverse fold, you can kind of healed, healed, uh, hide <laughs> that uh, crease inside, like this, okay, yeah, and do the same thing on the other side now, so once again you fold like this, and then you're just gonna do a reverse fold,
going to keep them symmetric like this and then you're going to unfold and fold that layer just a little bit like this okay doesn't have to be this part doesn't have to be perfect but yeah you get the idea like this okay and actually I have a different thing here on mine which is oops which is I have this these ones are too thin so what I did here was went on the back and one of them so I'm just gonna go for one layer here one layer I'm just gonna fold it up like this and now they look like that okay and do the same thing on the other side okay just like that okay now this part here um, we can give it a more natural look so we can maybe fold this like that I don't know I, I did not do this on mine so I'm just trying out but we can do that okay oops okay let me just remove this clip okay so we're almost done now what we need to do so this part here is going to be for the eyes as you can see oops okay so basically what you do to get to the eyes so if you fold them like this if you hold this flat you can see you have no space but what i did is first of all i glued these two points together so this one i glue it here like that i'll show you later um and then i push them a little bit up like this and i glue the tip not this much obviously but I glue the tip and then I uh, I don't have here a toothpick but I opened up this so I kind of pushed this down and made a small pocket you can barely see but you can see here okay so yeah this is how you this is how you do I'm not gonna do it in front of the camera just because it will be kind of boring for you uh, and you already see how it's done um, but yeah, so let me show you now how what to do with these um, horns. So um, if you look at the reference picture, there are actually two of them, which are these ones that are actually ears. Um, so I actually don't like how these ones are positioned. I think they should be more close to this one. So let me see what I can do. See, does this work? I'll show you later. I'm just testing now, just a second. Okay, so I mean, it's practically the same, but this one's looked better. I think it's because they are a bit too big. I can just shorten them like so yeah that's better so I just made a crimp here and now they are shorter I think they look better like this do the same thing for this one okay like so yeah so as I was saying these two are ears uh, as you can see like I gave them like a curved like a small pocket here which you can see which you can do by just folding this part down and making a small pocket and the rest of them what you're going to do is so I'll show I'll show individually and show one side so basically this one you're just going to do a mountain fold right here in the middle just a mountain fold and then you're going to do the same thing on oops that's not very accurate okay 
and then you're going to do the same thing on this one so mount it from all the middle and you have to go through all of these layers okay so basically and it doesn't have to be necessarily where the cent the middle line was before as long as it, they all kind of go to the same point it makes sense and now what you do is just fold these two together and make a valley fold in the middle like so okay and then you kind of open a little bit like this and you do the same thing for this one so uh, obviously if you glue these ones this small point here first this becomes easier but basically let me do this one as well so you make a mountain fold this and then you just make a valley on the middle like so and as you can see they look a lot better than this ones right so yeah so you keep on doing this uh, and that should be it so I'll just do this and just just do some shaping and then I'll let you know once I'm done another thing that I'm seeing what I'm doing is if you look like this it looks awful so one thing that I'm gonna do is try to make this like that so I might make this more round uh, but yeah sorry um, I'll just do this off camera and then I'll show you the end result okay guys so it's done here it is Uh, so yeah, let me tell you what I did. So like I showed you, I creased like mountain valley here on the spice. I folded this small part here, not all the way, just here to make a crease and then this part I just opened up a bit to make the ear. Uh, here the eyes, I just opened up a little bit. I didn't, I just pulled open, I didn't add any glue here or, or, or whatever. So I just pulled it, pulled open a little bit. And the tongue, it's a bit curved, as you can see. Um, yeah, I think from the side it looks okay, I guess. I'm not sure if I really like the front view, not sure what's off compared to this one, for example. Uh, maybe like the um, jaw, the lower jaw especially. I don't know if it's um, good or not, the positioning. It's hard to tell what's different, but, but yeah. I think it looks okay, um, I really like this paper, <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys manage to, actually, hope you guys manage to do your own, if you did make sure to tag me in my Instagram, uh, we're very close to 500 followers on the Instagram and it would be awesome if we get there uh, by the end of the year. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.